I... Hi, I'm so happy that you guys are here today. Um, as you can see, the Oscars were last night. I wanna share with you some of the best dress, some of the worst dress, and what you can learn from them so that you don't make the same mistakes. Fluff Daddy got dressed up as well for you guys. So, to get started, I'm gonna get started with the really easy stuff. Really easy stuff being those that I really, really loved. And why did I love them? Julia Roberts took my breath away. Why did she take my breath away? Because this morning I woke up, I looked at her dress again, and I still think it's a beautiful dress, but when she came out, it was just like, <gasps> it's like, oh my goodness, it was like I was seeing light and colors for the first time. Why? And I really think that if you go and you look at her picture, you're gonna be like, okay, she had a great dress. That's it, you know, it wasn't the greatest. But if you go and you see the video of when she first walked out on stage, you're gonna see it's her smile. It's like this energy that just like emanates from her that everybody, I mean, is like, wow, she just looks so beautiful. She looked younger than she has in several years. She just looked amazing. So that's the easy thing. Another easy thing is that there was a lot of pink I love pink, can you tell? I think that pink can complement so many different skin tones. Speaking of pink, one of my other favorite, favorite looks, I mean, I have Julia Roberts and I think Julia Roberts is truly because of the energy she brought into the stage, her big, beautiful smile. I mean, she just took my breath away. And another person who really took my breath away, different type of energy, but really just as striking as beautiful was Kiki Lane. And Kiki Lane wore a uh, like bubblegum or not bubblegum, what is that? You know, that stuff that kids eat that melts in your mouth. Alzheimer's, can it start this early? Oh my god, okay, it's cotton candy for god's sakes. Okay, it was cotton candy colored gown. Um, it was a Versace custom made and it was just beautiful. Uh, she just looks so elegant, so chic, so like, ooh, so flawless. So another lovely lady in pink is Gemma Chan and Gemma Chan had this gorgeous dress. I mean, I, the reason why I loved it, first of all, it was a beautiful shade of pink, kind of fuchsia-ish a bit, but it was the shape of it. It was a very unusual shape, but it really looked really cool. She had these awesome pockets, and I don't know if you guys are like me, but if you're a girl, it's so cool to have a dress with pockets. It just adds like the cool level it makes it like here my daughter was watching up to that point of the oscars and it's funny because she said to me oh wow what a dress and then she goes mommy why isn't she smiling and you know that's just her personality but it's for sure it impacts you differently when you see somebody like julia roberts who's got this big radiant smile and then you see Gemma Chan. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is about dresses with just one sleeve. Now if you do this, if you wear a dress with just one sleeve, please be conscious. As we get older, okay, a lot of us ladies will have bigger, thicker arms, okay, and um, if you wear a dress that has just one sleeve, know that when you wear the sleeve it makes your arm look slimmer. If your other arm, <laughs> if your bare arm, is significantly bigger, well don't do it. Jennifer Lopez, she was recently on the Ellen DeGeneres show and she was wearing, if I'm not wrong, it was a white dress and it had one sleeve and no sleeve. And her arms, even though her body is amazing, her arms have gotten bigger, a little bit like Beyonce. Don't hate me, people. If you love them, I love them too. But look, the truth is, this happens. Bodies change, okay? If I was the one who was dressing them, I would never have allowed Jennifer Lopez, for example, to have gone on the show with that dress, one sleeve dress. Don't do it if you have if you have really big arms, just don't. What you can do is what Jennifer Lopez did correctly last night at the Oscars. Either you bear both arms, okay, and you love yourself as you are, or you wear a dress like Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez last night, she wore a dress that has sleeves. Two sleeves, you know, sleeves, <laughs> yeah. And uh, she looked amazing, and her body is amazing, and anyhow, you know, she's Jennifer Lopez. She's like, you know, demigod or something. So speaking about the one sleeve thing, somebody who totally, totally did it right was uh, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson had on this red dress uh, with one sleeve and it had ruffles. And now normally I would say, oh, there's too much going on, but oh my God, did this woman pull it off? Not just that, but I actually think that she looks better than the model who modeled it originally. And why? Well, you know, Jennifer Hudson has these beautiful curves everywhere and she just filled up that dress to like, oh, it was just perfection. Lady Gaga looked really beautiful. Um, since she had platinum hair, I'm really happy that she went with just a black dress because already the platinum hair and the humongous Tiffany diamond 
that's worth like 30 something million dollars is a huge statement in itself. So a black dress was really cool. Um, she actually wore one dress to the red carpet and one dress uh, later on when she was performing. Simple, but very beautiful. Like I said, simple was the best way to go. If you're gonna go with a ton of jewelry or if you have a hair color that um, already is not your natural hair color, like let's say you have blue hair or hot pink hair, well, you know, I wouldn't go for like a dress that has a bunch of colors. I wouldn't go for a dress that has a bunch of ruffles. And also if you have a lot of tattoos, I have friends who have like, you know, sleeves and these, I'm talking about girls, okay? I think that they look a lot better when they stick to something simple because already they have these beautiful tattoos and to add a lot of other stuff, kind of, I don't know, it just takes away from everything as opposed to embellishing. One woman that I want to mention is Sam Elliott's wife and that's Catherine Ross. Uh, she was wearing a lovely emerald green dress. You guys know I love green. Um, and it just had certain embellishments um, around the waist and even on the shoulder. And it just helped to make her figure look more alluring. I wish I could have found a picture of just her alone on the red carpet. I couldn't. But I really think she would have deserved to have a picture just by herself. She looked amazing. One last pink dress that I wanted to mention is Casey Musgraves. And Casey Musgraves, um, if you look at just the image, if you just look it up and you look at the picture, like what I'm gonna show you, you might not like it. But I'm telling you, look at the video, look at her moving and everything. Her hair and makeup were just like perfect. She had her hair like split down the middle and really sleek back. I love her hair, her makeup. It's perfect to go with a dress that has so many embellishments. I don't think that I could have pulled that off. Why? Because I wouldn't have looked good with a hairstyle like that. So if I really wanted to look my best, even though I loved her dress, it just wouldn't go with me. There's not a lot of things that I can do with my hair. This is about it, okay? I even have difficulty doing ponytail because I have so many little hairs, curly hairs, short hairs that pop out of everywhere. So, you know, I wouldn't be able to Blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't have been able to wear it. <laughs> okay, now on to the men, okay? You guys might disagree with me, but I really think that Pharrell Williams shouldn't have worn that. I know, it's not the first time that he wears shorts, like it's a tuxedo with shorts to, uh, to an award show, but you know, it was a camouflage tuxedo short thing, you know, with little white socks and black shoes, you know? laces they weren't even sneakers i i didn't like it i don't care what gq says i didn't like it like honey don't wear that <laughs> please <laughs> some of the men who i thought were impeccably dressed were trevor noah just looked perfect i mean he had a really nice fitting tux uh classic really really nice of course there was bradley cooper but i think bradley cooper you know he's got a really good sense of his own style what looks good on him and he plays it safe um he looked really good my favorite out of the men was Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan, uh, you know, he was wearing a really nice tux. Everything fit well. I like the fact that his jacket was actually velvet and a very dark, dark, dark shade of blue, almost black. I like that there was just that little, you know, little bit extra. Jason Momoa, uh, he was the guy who played Aquaman and uh, he's wearing actually a pink tux from Fendi. And uh, I think it goes with him. Look at his hair. I mean, he's got like the scar here. He kind of looks like a bad guy. And then you put him in pink, in pink velvet tuxedo. It's so cute. But if you're Bradley Cooper, and even though you're amazingly good looking and you have these beautiful eyes and everything, if we put you in the pink Fendi tux, you will not look good. So that's what I mean. Just really think about who you are, what kind of face you have. If you're a classic guy, go with a classic tux and just keep it nice, clean, and simple, and you will look amazing. And if you're a guy who's more like Mickey Rourke, I don't know if you guys remember when he was, I think it was a Versace um, tux, a white tux. I mean, you can pull that off, you know? Chris Evans, uh, he's the guy who plays Captain America. He also had a tuxedo that fit him really well. His tuxedo jacket was made also of velvet, except that the color of his jacket was teal. Now, I think he looked really good. I'm just not a fan of teal. Mahershala Ali, I hope I said his name right. I think he looked really good. The only thing that I don't, I didn't really like was that he was wearing like this black, you know, hat, you know, uh, like snow hat. So, so his hat kind of looked like this. Now you're wearing a tux and uh, with a mandarin collar and you wear this on your head. Why? 
you're not in Quebec. You're not freezing. It's not snowing outside. You're in California. Last time I checked, they're still doing the Oscars there. Why wear this? I don't get it. There was an announcer or whatever you call them. Yeah, an announcer uh, who was on the red carpet interviewing celebrities. His name is Billy Porter and he was wearing a Christian Suriano gown? Tux? Gown tux. Tux gown. I mean, he definitely um, had a lot of fun with his outfit. I'm just... It's, I just think maybe... Okay, for me, <laughs> more power to him if it makes him happy. Let's just say that. Okay, one last thing that I wanted to mention. I saw somebody, I can't remember their name now, but she was one of the presenters. Uh, and uh, she was really funny, really fun, you know, to listen to. Uh, but she is not the type of person who has a really long neck. I, I mean, I don't have a long neck. And she had on like this humongous bow. She had on like this lilac uh, suit and then this lilac bow thing you know that went here i have a friend who has a long neck and she it looks very elegant she can wear scarves all the time i can't do that i have a short neck and it just it doesn't look good it looks like i'm like this don't do it if you have a short neck and you're looking at a dress for example a halter dress that has like a bow here don't don't do it don't and and, and if you do if you actually do because you fell in love with it go ahead at least put your hair up it helps to elongate your neck. Um, this uh, woman, this presenter, and I'm sorry, but I can't find her name anywhere. Uh, she had her hair down and she has the bow and she has a short neck. And then you're like, it just, you're not helping yourself out. You really aren't. Another woman whom I want to mention is Allison Janey. And Allison Janey had this beautiful dress with this plunging neckline. I think she looked just beautiful. The reason why I want to bring her up isn't just because she looked beautiful, but it's because if you're going to wear a plunging neckline, you need to make sure that your skin has to be nice there. Um, I know a lot of people who uh, have a lot of sun damage right here. Her skin, her uh, décolleté, was just flawless. She just looked, it was very beautiful and I love her look. She had, it was long sleeve with a plunging neckline, which I think is really nice. It just balances everything out. I thought she looked magnificent. I hope you guys create for yourself an opportunity to wear something that makes you feel beautiful, something that we normally don't get to wear, you know? We're not celebrities. We don't get opportunities to do these things and we should, you know, sometimes I think we we miss out on a lot of opportunities where we could dress up because we're like, oh, it's just the family. Oh, it's just my husband. No, dress up. Come on. It's fun. So don't miss out on those opportunities or at least create them for yourself. I love you. Bye. Really take the time to go out and shop to make sure that you look your best. Don't just pick something out because you're in a hurry these things matter and then you look at the picture and you hate yourself and you're like why did I do that I told you okay so that's the last little tip that I wanted to say to you guys and um, from me and fluff I hope you guys have a fabulous day I love you thank you so much for watching bye